Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, The Fragrance Connoisseurs. I am Charm City and not here today is Nate the Great, but we make up the channel, The Fragrance Connoisseurs. Today I wanted to talk to you about Angel Share clones. So there are a few on the market and I bought the three main clones that I know of to basically give you a rundown on all three, which ones I think are closer to Angel Share, which ones I think are not, and which ones are better, which ones last longer, and to give you all of the information that you need to make an informed choice. So I did not receive any of these, as you could probably understand. This is one of our first videos starting up. So we didn't receive any of them as a gift or anything like that. These are ones that we paid for ourselves and we will get started in that. First, we'll start with the OG and that's Angel Share itself. As everyone who knows about Angel Share, of course, it is definitely one of my top 10 of fragrances and one of the first ones that I bought at full retail. And this one uh, basically uh, has a top note of cognac. It has a lot of cinnamon and tonka bean and a little bit of, of woodsies. I don't smell the wood as much. And then the base notes are praline, vanilla, and sandalwood. So if everyone generally knows, I mean, beautiful presentation, beautiful bottle, and it's a spectacular scent. So many people don't have the kind of money. I think now Angel Share, I, I think I got it when it was about 210, now it's about 250. So many of the people don't have the kind of money or don't want to spend that kind of money, but want to have a similar DNA. So there are some definite ones that people have talked about and have gotten a lot of hype. So I will start with the first one that everybody talks about that gets the hype and we'll start with the presentation of it. And this is Kamra by Latafa. So everyone is talking because when you see the presentation, of course, it very uh, quickly gives you the mindset of Angel Share. Uh, it is a, I guess, squared bottle instead of a round bottle, but has the same type of cap has the, the same kind of presentation that you, you see from Angel Share. It is not a bad presentation at all. In fact, it smells a whole, uh, it smells very rich. However, I don't believe that it is the closest smelling to Angel Share. And when you talk about Angel Share, and we can look at and see how it sprays, not the best sprayer, as you can see. But when we talk about what it smells like to me, the difference in Kamra to Angel Share is that it has less of a boozy smell and it has more of a take on the vanilla and the, the praline. In fact, to me, where Angel Share smells sort of like a uh, boozy apple, cinnamon apple pie. This one smells like cinnamon apple pie, not as much with the boozy, but like a very, very poignant French vanilla scoop of ice cream on top. It really, really is a lot sweeter. All of them are, both of them are gourmand. However, this one seems a whole lot sweeter in my opinion. Um, the things, we talked about the atomizer, we talked about the box, the opening impression, that's what I get. Even on the dry down, it still has that sweeter presentation. The, the thing that I don't necessarily like about this one is that it doesn't last and as long as Angel Share. Angel Share can, can last anywhere from 8 to 10 hours, really, really strong. It gives you a good projection in the beginning. This one gives moderate projection in the, in the beginning, but it really does not last long. So if you do like the scent profile, and I would say it's in the neighborhood of maybe 80%, it gives you that kind of apple pie, but again, with a French vanilla ice cream, 
kind of a note on top uh, and it's gonna you, you're gonna have to reapply but the price of, of this I got it for right at around forty dollars and at fragrance buy and the, the price is gonna be uh, a whole lot more uh, economical than than say angel share itself so that is a plus for it going to the next one um, and this one is fire your desire and this is by Paris corner so as you can see it is a different kind of presentation as far as a rounded box instead of a squared or rectangle type box it's a very nice presentation heavy glass and nice tassel at the end it's it, it's really nice as far as for the price i believe this one was about 28 dollars or between between 28 and 32 when i got it again not the greatest atomizer but what i definitely can say about the fire your desire is that this is going to be a lot closer to the actual angel share this is probably somewhere around 95 percent range and it has uh even throughout the dry down it's it gives you that boozy uh cinnamon apple pie type dna and it, it smells a whole lot like it for a lot less money um the thing about this one is out of all of them this is the one that probably lasts the least but it does uh, it's pretty close to the original and and smelling just like angel share from the beginning to the end you will you will get that same type of feeling from it so it is very good for the price very good a very good value and it gives you uh, basically that angel share DNA Going to the last one that, that we have, and this is uh, by Mason Alhambra, and this one is Kismet Angel. As you can probably tell, it is very reminiscent of Angel Share as far as the presentation on the box. It is a little different when you get to the actual bottle. It is a rounded bottle, but it is not in the same type of cognac, uh, wine snifter, or, or glass that you that you would have the rocks glass that they have. So here is a very that's a nice presentation, heavy glass, and here's a sprayer, a lot better sprayer. This one has a lot a lot better atomizer than than the other two that we've seen, and it is another 95% uh, exact copy of the original or clone of the original. It smells pretty much similar, exactly like Angel Share from the beginning, the opening impression to the dry down. And this one out of the three has the longest longevity. It's got moderate projection, but again, and this one went for around, I think $36 is what I got it for. All of these I did get at fragranceby.ca. I don't get anything for uh, naming them, but it is a place that I look and has a very good uh, reputation as far as giving you authentic, original um, fragrances. And they also have pretty good, um, <clears throat> they also have pretty good customer service and they ship out really uh, well and they package really nicely. So, out of all three of them, I would rate uh, the Kismet Angel as far as the closest. I would give it a nine uh, for the the actual cloning of the original Angel Share. Then I would give Fire Your Desire an eight just because it, it doesn't last as long as the Kismet Angel and you would have to reapply. And then... I would give, as far as if we are matching Angel Share, I would give this a seven, seven and a half. It does not exactly match the DNA. It is very good as a fragrance on its own. And 
it does have a, a nice uh, smell and, and DNA of itself. And then they're all around the same 28 to $35 range, 36. So definitely when you talk about the uh, economical factor or is it really worth it as far as when you put them up against Angel Share, which is 250 so in my opinion, the best one is the actual Kismet Angel. So that is our uh, review of the clones of the best Angel Share clone that's out on the market right now. We hope that you like the video. We hope that you subscribe. We are new to the fragrance video uh, genre, arena, but figure that since I have been in the last 24 months buying up all of these fragrances, I might as well give my opinion to which ones I think are good, which ones I think are bad, and just gives you another opinion that you can look through and decide on what you want to get. I've paid the price in advance so you can make more informed decisions. So we want to thank you for uh, watching Fragrance Connoisseurs. Uh, take care. God bless.